today I'm watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season 3 episode 11. Episode 12 was this Christmas episode. We saw Oz and Willow get back together. Looks like Faith and Buffy are going to start hanging out again. And then we also saw Angel and Buffy kind of patch things over. I'm not too sure where the status of their relationship is going to be, um, what that will look like, if they're going to start spending time together again. We were also introduced to this concept of the first evil and these priests, um, which Buffy wasn't able to defeat. They kind of just disappeared into nothing because they're everywhere. So yeah, I'm very curious to see if that storyline will come back later. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content. No, it's bam, boom, stick, poof. Yeah, now our mom's gonna be in danger of vampires. Oh man. <laughs> Maybe this will be enough to, uh, she'll stay home from now off. And I think she's like trying to be supportive. I guess this is like her version of like watching your kid play soccer. Stay. <laughs> yeah, like she's trying to be encouraging and just uh, but just also a bit strange to go to your daughter's vampire slaying. And yeah, then Buffy has to worry about her mom as well as the vampires. Oh no! Oh, Buffy was just too late. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have some weird symbol in their hand. Hmm. <laughs> oh, and they're just kids. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, but I'll take care of everything, I promise. Yeah, it's interesting to see Buffy be like the one comforting her mom instead of the parent comforting her kid. No, there are no marks. Wait. I, I mean, there. Oh, it wasn't vampires? Okay. There. Find me the thing that uses the symbol and point me at it. It looks like a triangle with a mustache through it. Someone with a soul did this. Oh god, that's horrible. So a burrito. This is uncomfortable. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Ugh. Feel that tension. Makes me grateful that my mom's not interested in my extracurricular activities. Oh, Willow. Or my curricular activity. She doesn't talk about her parents much. Tonight for City Hall, the mayor is even going to be there. Now we are going to get some action. Well, unless the mayor's in on it. Dun, 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 dun. She's like, great, you just drew all attention to this thing. At least your mom's making an effort. My mom's probably standing right in front of me. Right we haven't met Willow's mom, I don't think. Hello. I, I didn't know you were going to be here. Shouldn't you? Oh, you cut off your hair. <laughs> That's a new look. Like a, a long time ago? I had in August. Yeah. Okay. She physically hasn't seen her daughter in months. Oh, this isn't fun doing this crush. Oh, uh, this is. Uh... Hello from our teenage episode where we made out and listened to records. Uh, people calling themselves witches are responsible for this brutal crime. Are they gonna start like a witch hunt? Oh my god. Or suffered neck rupture. And how many of us have been too afraid to speak out? Oh god, no, she's just fueling this witch hunt. Supposed to lead us in, in a moment of silence. No, 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 she's just fueling the fear. Is this town's disease? Silence is how they get away with it. It belongs to the monsters and, and the witches and the slayers. What is she doing? Oh my gosh. Giles looks like he's gonna poop his pants. To take Sunnydale back. You don't know what you're talking about by finding the people who did this and making them pay. What are you gonna do, bring a vampire to justice? Have a vampire court? Like, ah, that's what Buffy's trying to do. And you just made her life so much worse. Ah, mom. Oh, oh Buffy is like, I should have never told you. Cause now everybody's gonna be suspecting a vampire. Okay, Willow, what are we, uh, what are we doing here? That's the symbol. Oh my gosh, Willow, what are you doing? What? Has Willow gone dark? Has she gone to the dark side? Uh... Hang with freaks and losers. Believe me, I know. Yeah, I'm guessing Cordelia still isn't really hanging out with them. 
the innuendos. Is a man not innocent until proven guilty? You weren't innocent. Yeah, you cheated on your... Yeah, exactly. Oh, you want to borrow something? Uh, more like he asked questions. Great sweater, though, Willow. Stay away from the lockers. This is police business. Oh my gosh, the police are raiding their lockers now. You want to give me those, please? The books. Confiscating their textbooks. Oh man, it's Nazi Germany. I've got Playboys in my locker. That's the least of their concern, just teenage boys looking at uh, boobies. Students' rights, just a long row of lockers, and the man with the key. I liked him better when he was the teenager. I know about it, so happy birthday, Hen. Oh gosh, okay, it's a protection spell? That symbols for protection? Yeah, it's just like censoring them, taking away anything that they might deem as witchcraft. Like you're gonna take Harry Potter out of the library. Like what are they doing? Answer to Moo. Who's Moo? Be the founder. I believe you call her Mom. Joyce started this group. Come on, Mom. Moo, Mom. Classic adolescent response to the pressures of incipient adulthood. It's a very clinical and cold response. Hey, but developmentally speaking. Mom, I'm not an age group. I'm me. Yeah, she's trying to put her into like a statistic instead of just looking at her like it's her daughter. Up? I'm a teenager, remember? You're upset. I hear you. No, Ma. Here Willow studies hard. She does everything. And I'm dating a musician. Oh, Willow. Yeah, she's like trying to open up to her mom. It's clear where this little obsession came from. What? Not speak to Bunny Summers again. Her name's not Bunny. Oh my God. They're supposed to be private and they took all of Giles' books away. Yeah, oh my God. I can't believe she orchestrated that. Like school library, especially now. Any student can waltz in there and get all sorts of ideas. The books aren't gonna turn them bad. They're using them to help them solve this. It's not your fault. You don't have a plan. You just react to things. It's bound to be- kind Wow, wow, wow. This is not helping the situation. Reading list. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to put down- Yeah, well, you did. Yeah, absolutely you did. She went from supporting her and going on a sleigh to uh, taking away everything she needs. Nice acronym, Mom. Honestly, I can't believe Joyce has gone this extreme. Yeah, so is Buffy. Not until you hurt them. The way they hurt us. I know, yeah, in Joyce's mind, she thinks she's doing the right thing and she thinks she's helping, but she's just putting up more and more roadblocks for Buffy to get through and making things even more complicated. Like, just gone the complete extreme route and censorship and just taking away everything that they need. Is she? Is sitting down any better than when I first came here? Yes, absolutely. I learned that from you. Every vampire she takes out makes a difference. But we never. We never win. No, you're never gonna eliminate all of them. You know, I said, and I'll say it again. Charles using a computer, Miss Calendar would be very impressed. Those are the same kids. Yeah, that's them. They died in 1949. What? Huh, there were more articles. Every 50 years, all the same. Okay, every 50 years, the same kids die? What? That's new. Did you say Hans and Gretel? Now all I can do is let you go with love. What does that mean? What does that mean? She's like disowning her? Also, I think that's a Lisa Frank poster. She's locking her in? And in some language that's English? Fairy tales are real. Hans and Gretel. The fairy tale of Hans and Gretel? Hansel and Gretel? Breadcrumbs, ovens, gingerbread house? Of course. What? That's what we're doing? A gingerbread house? We really have to talk. Time to go. Oh god, no. Get your coat, witch. Wow. Look, there's more to this than we- <gasps> Oh my god, no, no. Buffy's not a witch. What is she doing? Because she's a slayer? Bad girls. You have to stop them. You have to make them go away. The spirit of these two kids is like, taking over her mom. Yeah, she said she was having like nightmares and couldn't sleep. So these two kids are now making her, you know, complete this witch hunt, just like Hansel and Gretel did. Hold still. <laughs> oh my God! The yeah, a literal witch hunt and burning them at the stake with all these books, just slapping Giles in the face. Now let's be clear: the brain damage happened before I hit you. 
Okay, yeah, so Cordelia's back to helping them. Since when does it matter what I want? I wanted a normal, happy daughter instead. Wow, wow, cutting deep. <laughs> Torch. Thanks. Is she literally gonna set her own daughter on fire? Come on. Two choice. We should stay close, have lunch. Oh. Rama missed about the time we burned our own children. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. Perfect for lunchtime specials. <laughs> Where'd she go? She turned herself into a rat. Ah, uh -huh, see you later, bye. She couldn't do us first. I was gonna say she could have taken them with her. Do a little pencil on him. It's a really big power. <laughs> it's from inside the toad. Hello. Bubbles. Yes, through the vent saws. Get him. I can't believe she's literally burning her own daughter alive. Like, oh my god. The first time we met Willow's mom and she's not leaving a good impression. You're the little youthful offender, weren't you? <laughs> you must just look back on that and cringe. You have no idea. Ah, and his precious books. I wonder what he'll be more sad about. Oh no. Not quite the effect he was hoping for. Maybe his German was off. Oh. Oh. Oh, God. That's terrifying. Okay. I think I like the two little ones more than- Yeah, bring those two back. Cheese and crackers. Oh, my God. Yeah, like the special effects and stuff and like the makeup have been cool. She's gonna stake them? Yeah. Oh, I can see it happening. Yeah. Did I get it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, got right through the neck. Yeah, that'll work. Goddess of creatures, great and small, I conjure thee to withdraw. So to bring Amy back from being a rat? Yep, <laughs> nothing yet. Oh, she's like, please, guys. I don't want to be a rat anymore. So that was my first time watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer season three, episode 11. Um, I enjoyed the episode overall. It wasn't my favorite, but it was still a decent episode. Kind of went back to that monster of the week vibe, which is nice. Sometimes the episodes can be really intense. So it was nice to kind of go back to something we're familiar with. Faith wasn't in this episode and Angel was only in a few scenes, um, but we did get to see the mayor and the principal in this episode. And I'm very curious as to what they're working on. Like I said, I feel like the season finale will be their giant scheme that they've been working on this whole year and they mention it's also an election year so I feel like those things will be tied together as we're now almost halfway through the season. Cordelia is still keeping her distance from the gang and she's like I don't want anything to do with you guys like if I get involved bad things happen and she says that to Buffy and obviously things with her and Xander are still a bit strange. We did see Cordelia help out the gang at the end when she's slapping Giles in the face trying to wake him up so that he can go rescue everybody and I think this is the first time we've seen like town hall like that set we did get to see willow's living room in the previous episode when she invites oz over and it's got that christmas vibe going on um but this was the first time we've seen willow's mom and she was mentioning her mom quite a bit in this episode and i don't remember her mentioning her at all or very sporadically throughout the season so or even throughout the series so it was interesting to see her actually be a part of this and trying to censor Willow and not really accepting her and then even at the end when she's talking about her selective memory she's like okay well she remembers that she's dating a band member which Willow is like really proud of her and Oz so um, and then Noz is gonna come over for dinner I guess but yeah it was interesting to see this first introduction to Willow's mom and kind of their very distant relationship and compare that to Buffy and Buffy's relationship with her mom who is definitely not perfect but I feel like they at least try like I feel like Joyce would at least notice if Buffy gets a haircut and Willow and her mom don't seem to have seen each other in months I don't know if Willow's mom's away for work a lot it sounds like her dad was away and I believe her mom it sounds like she does something with academics maybe she's a professor or something but um, yeah it definitely seems like they lead very separate lives and that 
that's kind of how Willow's mom prefers. Like, she doesn't really want to be involved, but maybe with inviting Oz over for dinner, she's trying to put in more of an effort. But yeah, I kind of felt bad for Willow because Buffy's, you know, like, oh, my mom's gonna give me such a hard time. And then Willow's like, I wish my mom would at least notice what I do. And then even when Willow's mom shows up, it's like, I didn't know you were gonna be here. It's like, shouldn't you know, like, where your teenage kid's gonna be? And, and then when she scolds Willow for, you know, being involved in this witchcraft stuff, it's like, Willow is like a great student. She doesn't, she's not out doing all these crazy things. Like, this is her thing. This is what she's interested in. And whatever your viewpoints are on witchcraft but like she's just totally goes the opposite route and it takes it away from her and won't let her practice it at all and just I feel like that was really disheartening for Willow too especially because the relationship with her and her mom is so distant already when she finally does open up and tell her mom hey this is what I'm interested in this is what I care about you know I'm passionate about this and like I can move pencils and she's really proud of the skills she has and her mom just instantly rejects it and I think that's worse like it's worse being rejected as opposed to being indifferent and yeah so I felt really bad for Willow. It's interesting to think that fairy tales have some truth to them. Um, I know a lot of fairy tales are watered down especially in the movies we see of fairy tales. There's usually a much darker darker version of the original story or like Grimm's fairy tales but yeah it was interesting to see this like Hansel and Gretel characters who had died you know every 50 years and then were possessing adults to conduct this witch hunt and it was interesting concept of like this censorship and of course the prince will love that you know being able to go through everybody's stuff and no rules and just being able to do whatever he wants and we did see Amy back in this episode and she was in a previous episode about her and her mom and being witches so yeah it was interesting to see her character brought back and how she turned herself into a rat at the end of the episode in order to escape being literally burned at the stake. I think Joyce had good intentions when she went along with Buffy to you know watch her do her slang like I said like it felt like she was you know trying to watch her kid at soccer practice or something like this is what Buffy Buffy does so she wants to be there to support her and it was a little bit weird I think for Buffy she's used to doing these things on her own I think Buffy's still getting used to the fact that her mom knows about slaying so and then when we see Joyce kind of spearhead this moo campaign and how it just spirals and spires obviously through the influence of these two Hansel and Gretel like creatures and just like how things get so out of control so fast and it was very reminiscent I think of sometimes how things can happen in real life. Sometimes even people with the best intentions can create even more problems and I feel like in Joyce's opinion she was doing what was best by taking away these books and even when she's giving that speech and talking about slayers and vampires and again I know it's not actually Joyce it's these Hansel and Gretel things that are you know pushing her to do these things and you know telling her to fulfill this witch hunt and they keep calling her the bad girls or these bad lady to get rid of her um, because that's what happens in the Hansel and Gretel story. They literally create this witch hunt to go after her after she puts them in the stove. I can't believe Joyce almost burned her own daughter at the stake. Like, that's crazy. I can't imagine what would have happened when she realized what she was doing. And yeah, like, Buffy is her only child as far as we know. So yeah, it would have just been devastating. And obviously, Buffy's trying to be like, Mom, like, you care about me? Like, please don't do this and she's literally just like lighting the flame and is like yeah see you later and then that funny scene when Oz falls through the ceiling and is like oh we're here to rescue you. So they also mentioned it was Buffy's birthday coming up in a few weeks so I'm curious to see if the next episode will be about her birthday um, and then Willow was trying to create this protection spell for Buffy and that's what that symbol was. I felt so bad for Giles to see him watch all these books that he loves get burnt like luckily Willow and Buffy were able to make it out of there but those books got destroyed so I can only imagine the heartbreak that he's gonna feel over losing his books which are like his children like one of his most prized possessions and then seeing him use a computer it reminded me of Miss Calendar and how she would be so like excited that he's using a computer and he's swearing at it and can't figure it out it was funny to see the mayor's face when Joyce is giving that speech and she's like you know what like silence we've been silent for too long and all these horrible things have happened and we've done nothing about it I'm like that's how Sunnydale thrives like that's how these horrible things continue to go on because if people actually looked into the body count and looked into all these missing people like we wouldn't have the show basically like we need these people to just sweep things under the rug so that Buffy can continue what she's doing and 
I felt so bad for Buffy when her mom said like, well, you're never going to win. So why try? Basically, she's like, you're not really contributing because there's still going to be vampires and you're never going to, you know, fully eradicate this problem. And of course, Buffy took that so hard because she is making a difference. And although it might not seem like it, but every vampire she takes out is one less vampire, even if there's a hundred more to go and it never ends. But if she hadn't killed that vampire, even when her mom was out her, her mom would have been attacked by a vampire. And then what? Like she is making a difference even if it doesn't seem like it and especially considering that episode we just had where Cordelia wished for Buffy to not come to Sunnydale like that's what it would be like without Buffy basically so I wish Buffy could see that and I think Angel helped her see that a little bit and to remind Buffy that yes you know it is important what you're doing and all these people's lives that you're affecting overall i enjoyed it i liked the episode um, it was interesting to see this fairy tale concept and i'm curious to see if they will use other fairy tales in later episodes um, we didn't get to see faith so i hope she's in the next episode and like i said maybe it'll be more about buffy's birthday um, but the principal and the mayor were back in this episode it was interesting to meet willow's mom for the first time i'm curious to see if she will continue through the season and it was nice to see cordelia helping in her own Cordelia way so hopefully she's kind of helping more because before this whole thing with her and Xander she was helping them with every situation that they were facing but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for tv shows you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Okay, I have some weird symbol in their hand. It looks like a triangle with a mustache through it. Physically hasn't seen her daughter in months. Hello from our teenage episode where we made out and listened to records. Are they gonna start like a witch hunt? Silence is how they get away with it. Police are raiding their lockers now. Okay, every 50 years the same kids die. I don't want to be a rat anymore.